Hey guys, it's Cobra Stacker here and welcome back to my channel. Uh, apologies for not being around for the last two weeks, but I did order stuff while I've been busy and I'm going to do an unboxing for you now. So guys, welcome back to Cobra Stacker channel. And as I say, I've had... A uh, few things going on, personal things in the last month or so, and I have been away for the last week and a half uh, dealing with those things. So apologies for not being around, but I have still been ordering and uh, I've picked it all up and I'm going to open it up for you and let's see what we got. Okay, so just to let you know, I have pre-opened these in the way of I don't have to uh, slice them all up and take 10 hours to unpack them because I just think that longs out the videos and I'm going to leave the best till last all right so we will start off they're all good but we'll start off with this and we have a 10 ounce Britannia bar let me adjust that light a bit so it ain't too shiny shiny still is there we go 10 ounce Britannia bar. So that starts off our order for the week. And just to mention, I actually got myself a PO box, uh, which makes things a lot better. Um, so I don't have to give my address out all the time. Um, and I'll have a bit of privacy there. Okay, so we have four coins in this one. Uh, backyard Bullion is getting very popular in the way of people are reusing his boxes, which I'll probably do as well. So, Backyard Bullion, little shout out to you. Okay, um, we have a load of Kookaburras. Now, I love these coins. I think they are just amazing. Um, beautiful, beautiful coins. In fact, that one is really nice. I'll have to look up. Oh, I see. So normally, just out of uh, a little thing, they have the queen's head on them. But this one, on the reverse, has... This must be some kind of memorial coin or something. 1990 to 2020. A 30-year memorial coin, maybe. Didn't even know that was that. And I do think the Perth Mint come out with some seriously spectacular coins. So there's another cook. And I, I don't know, I've just really, that's a 2021, really sort of um, got a thing for these kookaburras at the moment. I think they're amazing coins. And a bonus one on this one, we have two cooks. I think I showed this one before. See, now that I've put a load of my stuff away, uh, in storage, I've got to sort of start pulling it out and double checking what I have and haven't got. Uh, don't get me wrong, I do list all my stuff, uh, so I could go through the book, but it's actually knowing what the pictures are and all that, uh, though the year should tell me that, so I'll have to have a look. Right, moving on to the next package. What do we have here? Okay, we've got a certificate of authenticity. That must be for one of the coins in this lot. So we'll take that out and we'll just wait and find out which coin it's for. I think I know now anyway. Oh, another cook. In fact, it's a duplicate, duplicate even, of this one here. Okay. We'll whack that there. See, this is the trouble when you're busy and you just see things you like and you just start grabbing them. And a koala. Now, I've seen a few of these and they're okay. I'm not uh, dissing them, but they don't have the same appeal to me as the kookaburras. I can't even hold that one. Hang on. There we go. Yeah, not the same appeal. They're a nice coin. <clears throat> Next, 
Now that, to me, is a nice coin. So we have the Korean Tiger 2022. Just think that is a beautiful piece of work there. And on the back, Republic of Hong Kong. Very nice. Like that. Like that a lot. Okay, and the one that came with a certificate is a 2023 Germania. Lady Germania. Um, I really like these coins. I think they are amazing. The artwork is phenomenal. Uh, the company who is doing this are really making a mark out there now. Seen more and more of these come up, some which are absolutely stunning. High premiums, but I do like them. And that comes with a certificate of authenticity. Yeah, I can't, I can't even speak. Authenticity. Uh, and there's the mintage figures, etc., etc., etc. Very nice. Okay, so there's a few more, but I did say I was leaving the better ones till later, and I have. Um, so, for those of you who've seen my other videos, Silver Angel is um, someone I buy from, and I find their stuff absolutely exceptional. I think the packaging is phenomenal. So this is Norse, Norse God Sets Set 2. Uh, Thor and Mujurono, Mujurono. Uh, and this is Set 1. So Set 1 is for me. I'll open that in a second. Set 2 is actually for a friend. And with each of them, anything that comes from Silver Angel that I've seen so far comes with a certificate. And that one says set number one, so that's my one. And set number one, and these two go with that one. So let's open this up, and I want to open it all up because I want to show you how well packaged and how nice their stuff is. Now, I'm sure they deal elsewhere, but I only see them on the Silver Forum, uh, the platform, which again is a, a great platform to be on. Um, but yeah, Silver Angel. So there you go, you open it up, beautiful box anyway, open it up, and you have a bit of paper there. Open that up, and you have it all padded out, which is really nice. Open that up, and look at that. Oh, that one slipped, but just phenomenal. I honestly, like, I don't like the dull bars anyway. Um, it's not really my thing. Um, but just look at the artwork. Look at the bars. I'm going to take these out and show you. <clears throat> so that's the Thor bar. Just brilliant. Um, beautiful. And just shiny and nice and clean. So there you go. Look out for Silver Angel. Seriously, seriously good stuff. Um, just amazing. You will not be disappointed if you order off them. I'm going to package that one up as nicely as I can. Never be as good as what they did, but uh, because these are just nice bits of silver. So there we go. And the certificate for authenticity. And this is a couple of big boys there. So we have a small coin of what, when I was, I was buying this in the comments, someone said, looks like a very angry kangaroo. And I tend to agree. He looks pissed. Got no idea why. But yeah, a little kanga coin. Now, here comes the first of the big boys. This is a one kilo coin. As you can see by the size of my hands, they're not small. And it fills it. And it is a cook. A one kilo cook. But I had a choice of four. This was one of the ones I picked. And the actual seller was a real diamond because 
They had one up for sale. I went for it and then he gave me the choice of four and I saw two that I liked better and he swapped it out. So that's the first one. 2019, I believe. Absolutely stunning coin. And the weight of it and the feel of it is just phenomenal. And I, I love these coins. I love my kilo coins. Uh, and I think they're worth every penny. And the second kilo coin is another cooked, but it's the barbed wire on a pole cooked. Uh, 2016. Again, lovely. And I think I might grab a few more of these. I just think they're phenomenal coins. Beautiful weight. Real, real good coin. In fact, I'm going to take this one out uh, just so you can see it more clearly. And when you actually have them in your hand like that, not in a capsule, and you get the real beauty of it and the real feel of it, it's something else. I mean, just look at that. That is, one, the artwork is so clear, so nice. The cook looks stunning on there. The weight of it, the feel of it, absolutely phenomenal coin. So there you go, two kilo cooks into the collection. All right, so we've bought quite a bit of silver there in a week, but we have got some gold. So let's have a look at what we got. So I believe this is a 10th. I don't know why I bought it. Oh, I do. It's actually uh, a good friend on the silver form who helped me out a lot. He had this up with another coin. So um, I just thought, you know what? I'll take it off his hands. Uh, I love the coin. The actual tiger is beautiful. Um, I would like to get this in a one ounce coin. Uh, but for me, I don't know, a tenth or even a twentieth. I don't know what this is. Can't even see it. <laughs> That's how small they are. Um, but a phenomenal coin, as in the artwork and all that lot. But for me, they're just a little too small. So going from a kilo coin to that, yeah. Not really a bit of meat, but there you go. A bit of gold. And I got some more. Now, this one. I have been waiting four months for. And when I say that, I'm sure a lot of you will know exactly what it is. From the Royal Mint. We pull it out. And we have the Queen Elizabeth II Memorial Sovereign 2022 Gold Proof Coin. So, there you go. Comes in your standard cardboard box there. With your next cardboard box there. Hang on. <laughs> Got to be careful because you don't want to damage these out of boxes. So if ever you want to sell them, it's all part of the collection. Then you get your black box there. And your leaflet. <clears throat> which tells you all about Her Majesty the Queen and obviously Prince Charles, her son and the new portrait, there you go and then we have these beautiful boxes and they are phenomenal boxes one thing I've got to give the Royal Mint on that is the presentation on these proof sovereigns or proof coins is exquisite and then we open her up and 15,681 that's the number of this one there she is but I'll show you in a second I just want to check what the total mintage of these proof coins is and again I probably can't read that straight off the bat so we'll see if we can pull it in on the camera Total mintage looks like about 23,000 something something. And the light is terrible. But obviously the main thing is the coin. So let's have a look. And as I say, these have been out now. Uh, they, they've they released them in three uh, batches, I believe. Um, and so mine is one of the last batches. Um, so you have seen these. They've been around now. 
But that's the, uh, I need to get this light right because it is terrible. Apologies everyone for that. Okay, so there she is. That is the memorial coin, upside down. There we go. 2022 memorial coin. Now the artwork on that is phenomenal. Um, absolutely beautiful. Uh, and I don't think I've ever seen a uh, sovereign as beautiful. And then we have King Charles III, head on the back. Um, so saying goodbye to the Queen and welcoming in our new King. Uh, would I have bought it in proof? I mean, I, I ordered this, honestly, three, four months ago. Uh, and I believe they bought a bullion out. I think I've got the bullion. Um, I suppose for this being a commemorative thing, yeah, it's worth having. But I have got one more thing to show you. Now, obviously, you guys have seen my uh, gorilla in the background, silverback gorilla in the background. Absolutely weird. Um, obviously... There is a, another stacker out in America uh, called the Silverback Stacker. So I couldn't take his name and I named myself after my second favourite animal, which is cobras. But Silverback Stacker, this one goes out to you. This came up in England um, and it is a set of eight at the moment. And I will try and complete more. Silverbacks. Uh, really nice set. Really like it. Um, and by the way, Silverback, your coin has been sent over 10 days ago. Um, and the last message that I got on the tracking, I'll send you the tracking. I wasn't going to tell you. I was just going to wait till it turned up. Uh, said it has left England. Um, but that was only about two days ago. So I don't know what's going on with the mail. But it is on the way to you. But here we go. We have a collection box for the silverback coins. And I love these. I mean, there are some weird silverbacks like this one. I think it's this one. Yeah. This one looks like he's um, been on a bit of a diet and he's just like a little bit skinny. He don't look like a proper silverback to me or maybe he was the runt of the litter. Um... But otherwise, they are a lovely series. And, and I think Silverback Stacker said he looks like Chewbacca. Uh, but they are a lovely, lovely series if you're into Silverbacks, which I am. So there you go. Two more. And... As I'm showing you this last one, I want to say to you guys, we are up to 291 subscribers, uh, which is phenomenal. And it was even going up while I wasn't putting videos on because I had some personal business I had to take care of. And I do want to thank everyone for that. Honestly, your views are what makes it worth doing. Otherwise, what's the point? I'm just recording stuff for myself. Um, so we're up to 291. There is a giveaway that I promised you at 500, uh, 500 subs. Um, thank you for watching. That's my silver. A little bit of gold there. A little bit of gold there. That I collected in a week. Um, and watch out. I'll, my next video is going to be me going to gold shops in India. I was out in India for a little bit. And I went and I bought some gold out there. So I'm going to show you what I got and how it was to buy out in India. But once again, thank you everyone for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you soon.